YouTube. These are the Vulcan Autosonic Mark 30-A mechanical wind-up heat detector bells. And these are pretty old. Uh, I got these as a Christmas gift. Uh, and overall, they're pretty neat, but they have some issues, and I'll get to that in a minute. But let's take a look at some of the uh, the main features of them. They are uh, gold colored or brass, and the outside is actually the gong, as you can see. This one's a little bit higher pitch than this one, about a half step higher. Uh, and this center piece here is the thermostat, or the heat sensor. Um, this one still has its price tag on it. I haven't had to take the time to peel that off. There. Put that away. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the bottom. And you can see that the, the bottoms look really cool. I love these the design. Uh, this one has a mounting bracket on it. This one does not. I took the mounting bracket off of this one. It's downstairs somewhere. But uh, to take the mounting bracket off, all you do is you pull up on this piece and then slide it down and it comes off. And I literally just figured that out this morning. Uh, anyway, and here's the mounting bracket. There's uh, some writing on the bottom here. Let's see if you can see that. Hmm. There it is. Okay, and if you want to if you want to read this, you can just pause it. Right here. I haven't read the whole thing yet. But. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough. Uh, but anyway. Take a look at the back labeling here. And uh, one thing I found interesting was that they are both serial number four. Zero 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 four, uh, and they are model number VA dash M dash thirty FT. My thing would focus there. Uh, these are very similar to the Vanguard bells, I think. In fact, I originally thought they were, but they're not. Uh, but anyway, how you wind them up is you grab a hold of the gong and you turn the back clockwise like that. Of course I don't want to do it because I will tell you right now that this one has a problem where when you it doesn't really to reset it after it's been set off you have to push this piece in and you can see it's still going. Uh, this one has a problem where this thing won't stay pushed in. so. It, continually sets itself off. That's why I can't have it. See, it's still going. So this one's got a bit of an issue, but don't worry, I won't be using these for life-saving purposes. I'll probably be using this one to test. This one probably still works. I'll just have to figure out why this is not staying in. You can see there it goes. Oh, there it goes. But, uh, anyway. This right here is the test button. You push that in to test it. Uh, and this one has the test button as well. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this one for you. So here we go, and it's going to be very loud.
and then to reset it, of course, you push that button. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty loud. Definitely get your attention if the thing goes off. Now I'm going to see if I can get the other one working, and then I'll test that one for you as well. But it's, they sound really cool, I think. They're not really a vibrating bell. They're more of a, it sounds more like a motor-driven bell, because technically that's what it is. It's a mechanical motor-driven bell. And I'm not quite sure how they work. I'm guessing that there's something in here that expands or something and pushes this piece out, like a bimetal strip or something. And that trips a mechanism, a, a wound, like a spring, spring mechanism in here which hits the gong a bunch of times and gives you that noise. So, yeah, I don't know. So let me see if I can get the other one working for you. And I will try that out, too. Okay, well, I was able to get this one working. Luckily, I was able to push that thing in there and get it to stay there. It turns out that this thing was just, like, pushed in a little bit, the test button here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the test button and see if it goes off. That one goes off right when you pull the test button off. But yeah, this one goes off right when you push the test button out. So let's try that again. It's actually quite handy. Let's see if I can wind it back up. You can actually wind it up the other way by turning the gong. Okay, there. Now that I've got that one working, and let's wind the other one back up. Now, this is probably what you've all been waiting for, because I'm going to set them both off at the same time. So, let me go ahead and see if I can't find any... Well, I guess not. Uh, anyway, okay, so... Here we go. Let's make sure that's not caught on the carpet. So here we go. In three, two, one. Okay. There. Let's try that. Let's do it again. Okay. That sounded pretty cool, actually. I like how they, they both sound together. Okay. Three, two, one. One. All right. So let's test this one once more. And this one. And then, of course, you can do code three. time. I don't think you can do it on this one because this one sticks in. I have to kind of pull it out. I'll wind it back up a little bit. Wind this other one up a little bit. So yeah. So that is, that. these are the Vanguard, or sorry, not Vanguard, Vulcan Autosonic Mark 30-A, what is the model number again? Model number VA-M-30FT. The mechanical wind-up heat detector belts, and let me put the mounting bracket back on this one really quickly. Put the mounting bracket on, it's very simple, just slide it on like that. So, that's the heat detector bells that are mechanical and wind up, made by Vulcan Autosonic. Now, of course, they did make a smoke, detec detec bleh, a smoke detector that was very similar to this. It had the same basic design, uh, it had these little holes on it, but except these little like indents here, but it had holes all over the thing, kind of like on a speaker. Uh, because it was a smoke detector. And it did have this piece, but this piece was only decorative. Uh, but they had a test button, like, right here, or something like that. 
and they were photoelectric. So hopefully, maybe I'll get my hands on one of those soon, and then I'll have the entire uh, collection. And they made a battery-powered version and a line cord plug-in hardwired model, and they were photoelectric. So that is the Vulcan Autosonic wind-up mechanical heat detector bells. Thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas.